what you're going to do. Like Guys, the reason I want to come here today is to show you that you have great minds, unique ideas, and you can go into science in the future to change medicine and help patients. And you're doing it right now by coming up with concepts that no one has ever thought about, like the syringe inside a nanoparticle. And this is proof that you guys can go out there and change the world. So well done. Meet the students who will, very soon, fill the jobs for which today there is no description. They will be asked to solve problems we do not yet see. We're trying to show the students that they have the ability to learn the skill that they had seen on TV that they think is so exciting. She's tapping into her personal network of laboratories, researchers, and universities, in addition to taking classes to get more current. But even that is not enough. Given the speed at which science, technology, engineering, and math are expanding, that's why communities are evolving to bridge the gap between the classroom and leading edge science. Augmenting the education system through the involvement of business experts is essential for communities that aspire to prosper. Smart businesses are collaborating with school systems to share what they are doing. For example, building nanoparticle structures just like those planned for delivery of drugs to otherwise inaccessible targets. The researchers show this in a way that proves it to be well within the student's capability. Before I came in, I was a little nervous seeing everyone in here like they already knew what they were doing and we didn't know, so I felt a little nervous. All right. So then what you're going to do is mix it around with your transfer pipette. And then how did you feel after the fact? I felt very confident that I can now apply what I've learned onto what I'm going to do and that this is, you know, something I really would look forward to doing in the future. That's the coolest nanoparticle ever. <laughs> oh, 100 percent. When we get the guest speakers in from the Jacksonville area, they get extremely excited. They just feel honored that people, industry, workplaces would take time out of their day to come and talk to them. That's what we're trying to do today. Get them excited about careers in science. The students have potential that these researchers want to tap. They need more people, people with talent and skills. They know they need fresh, out-of-the-box, innovative ideas. So they take these students as seriously as they take themselves. They show the students the practical applications of the principles the teacher has prepared them with. Yes, the partnerships that we build with the industries that ha actually match our programs in our schools are key. It may only be 30 minutes to an hour or a little bit of time. The world of a difference to a student in understanding what that field is about is really what's so important for our schools. And we really thank all these other community partners out there for bringing in these new ideas and new ways of looking at careers for the students in our schools. 